It's a couple Jordan one retros and they gotta be in your collection. You just collect them, you never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go L, play some bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever. I'm from the bottom of the one to rival. This part of our culture, you gotta be fly. Round flowing with the air forces. Put that shit on to the day that I die. Nikes over out of the dials. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist. And y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today, y'all see the thumbnail, man. We're going to be talking about these Palomino ones. And we're going to also bring out the Mocha ones and talk a little bit about those as well. And I might throw a little twist in there for you guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Follow your boy over on Instagram at the Retro Wiz Kid, posting them pictures for y'all. And y'all already know, make sure you guys give a huge like on the video. It helps the algorithm with the videos over here on the channel. And with that being said, let's get straight to it. Get it! So as you guys see, we have been copping some sneakers, man. These right here, I actually did a video over, but I didn't do an actual review on them. It was just a video talking about how I went through copping this shoe right here. So I did have some people say, hey man, go ahead and throw them on feet and everything like that. Give us a full detail review. So stay tuned. I might give you guys the full detail review on this one. I've been debating on it, but we do have a sneaker right here that I want to talk about. These that came out about two, three years ago because of the wave that we were having like right before COVID. And then, you know, I think that these would have been a hit. You know, I just think that they waited a little bit too long to bring these back because some of the people that were collecting sneakers back in the day, you know, they might they might not be collecting sneakers now. Just because you were collecting sneakers 10, 15 years ago don't mean that you still collecting them the way that you were collecting them back then. Now you might have your selection of what you want to pick up, you know what I'm saying? Maybe just go after some OG colorways or the nostalgic colorways. All the colorways are maybe not as appealing anymore to everyone. We did have these right here. The Palomino Air Jordan 1s. Now, I was able to pick this pair up right here from Finish Line, as you guys see from the bag. And I got these in a size 10 and a half. I did hit on Nike sneakers at for a size 11 as well. So the 10 and a half, I'm probably going to use for some trade bait down the line. Because I honestly feel like this shoe will rise in price. And I will give you guys the breakdown on why I feel like that. But, you know, I do think that it was pretty dope. They gave us a nice nice black and gold box you know and just giving it that gold hits and everything switching it up giving us a different type of box i like that i like the vibe of that and all that good stuff man it, it gives it some type of box gang shouty feeling for me because it's something different and y'all know i'm box gang shouty so we got the air jordan one retro high og black metallic gold palomino a core size 10 and a half and again pick these up from finish line and i got to use a 20 dollar coupon on them so the thing about this box that i will say that i like is the fact that when you pop the lid and you get into the shoe you have the hits from like how the box is black and gold you have the black and gold hits right there as well as the black and gold hits on the inside of the sneaker on the insole which i know people ain't really gonna see your insole or your shoe but i just think that that's a dope touch to the sneaker but you know it is what it is some people might be like yo retro you reaching it don't even matter about that you know but hey i think that that's something that's unique and dope to the sneaker but when it comes down to this colorway in general man i'm gonna be honest man i was talking to the bro to vintage and you know he asked me after i got the shoes he was like what's your thoughts on them now after like just taking a look at them and everything and just seeing the shoe you know we got that brown and black hit you know and of course getting hit with some sale that's the best way to put it brown black and, and sale and then having like the little slightly gold hits on this now i'm gonna keep it a butt with you guys the only thing about this shoe that i don't like or should i i won't say i don't like it it's just that I wish they would have put a different black leather on this sneaker. I wish they would have went with the type of leather that they put on the Mocha ones. You know, I feel like that would have been a better touch to it as far as like the toe box and the execution with this brown upper and everything like that. I think that it is dope, man. I think that it is very dope the way that they did these. And it's definitely a fire sneaker for the fall time. Of course, I told you, you guys got that gold hit right there. And then you have the gold Nike hit on the inside, which I don't think you guys can see that. But let me see. I'm going to show you guys. A pull. We're going to pull that joint out. And then right here on the insole, you do have that 
gold Nike Air right there, which, you know, something that I feel like is nice. Now, when it comes down to like just the materials overall for the sneaker, yeah, the black area of this shoe is the only thing that I would have changed. And I know a lot of people would be like, you know, Jordan 1s, they were super hyped up. They had their wave. Not a lot of people on like the fours and everything like that. But I still feel like the Jordan ones is still one of the best silhouettes in my personal opinion. You know, that's I, I really rock out with ones and I love Jordan ones. And you know, if you don't have a pair of mochas, these are definitely a vibe. If you don't have a pair of Travis Scott's, these are definitely a vibe. And I know a lot of people would be like, you know, the mochas are more of a similar build to the Travis Scott because of the way that the color colors are. But I do feel like if you're just looking for that brown, sale, black type vibe, these are definitely a hit, man. If these had it came out the year after the mochas, GDs would have went for some bread. I'm telling y'all right now. It's only right that we pull out the mochas, man, and... I mean, when you're looking at the colorways as far as that brown on the mochas, I mean, it's very slightly different. I mean, if the if you look super fast, you might just be like, yo, it's the same color. Like, like no cap, man. If you look really quick, somebody would just be like, it is exactly the same color. But I feel like the colors might be just slightly different. But it's the material that they use on the black right here on the mocha that just makes it stand out a little bit more to me. But I will say that the colorways are definitely both fuego. And I'm talking about fire flames. Y'all let me know what you guys think about the mochas and these right here. And again, just kind of these really give off a reverse vibe to me like or this could be like the mocha 2.0 even though they calling these the the palominos you know these could be in a way sim very similar to the mochas i mean of course you're getting more brown and black on this one you're getting more sale on this one right here with the small hits of black and the small hits of the brown because i mean you still have the same midsole type vibe you still have the same hit in the back minus having that sale going along the back right there and then the tongues being different you know the black tongue the sail tongue bottom right here you got the black of the mochas and then you got that brown hit on the palominos which i mean y'all y'all let me know man y'all let me know which one is y'all rocking with and do y'all agree with me man i definitely feel like this shoe right here is going to rise in price i will say it again i definitely feel like this shoe will rise in price it's a great sneaker to have in your collection especially if you do not have a pair of these right here the mochas but y'all let me know man comment down below y'all thoughts and opinions on these were they worth the bread to get did you hit how was the cop in your area were these super hard to get i will be honest with you guys because i hit for a pair on finish line i woke up maybe like five to six minutes after the release and I put in and I was still able to hit over there on sneakers so that kind of made me feel like oh these for everybody but then when you look on goat and everything the price is going for about 230 240 and then you got to pay those fees but I'm pretty sure if you're local somewhere you can probably copy these for probably about 220 you know 220 230 you know without having to pay all of those fees at the end of the day it was this one right here that started the whole swag with having the brown and it being the Travis Scott Jordan 1, which, you know, if you don't own a pair of these, I definitely would say, again, this is a dope shoe to have in the collection, man. So I will say that I do feel like one of the best executed Jordan 1s this year that doesn't have like, at first they seemed like they had kind of like a high hype on them, but, you know, as a GR release, I feel like it's probably one of the better Jordan 1s that we've seen this year when it comes to the general release of Jordan 1s, but y'all comment down below. Y'all let me know y'all's thoughts and opinions. I mean, y'all see, man, we have the Travis's, the Mocha's, and now we got the Palomino's. I like the sneakers that do have those sale brown and black type hits, man. Very dope sneakers that you can wear in the wintertime, in the fall time. Just, you know, the colorway. The colorway is a hit, man. But y'all let me know down below y'all thoughts and opinions. It is your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. Until the next video, peace, love, and Laguna Beach. I will spin these pictures for y'all, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Yeah, it it's a couple Jordan 1 retros, and they got to be in your collection. You just collect them. You never go step in. I can respect it, but that ain't for me. I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together. Get on the go, L, place a bid, and hopefully I can just hit forever.